Hey there. Um, we're talking electromagnetic induction now. We're talking about Faraday's law and Lenz's law. Faraday's law in particular is the important one. That's the mathematical one. And all it really says is that the induced EMF, okay, by that we mean the induced electromotive force is what Faraday called it. Um, I think that's before they even had the term voltage. But really we're talking about induced voltage, okay, creating electricity um, by somehow changing the magnetic flux that you have going through a piece of metal. Okay? It could be, be like a single piece of wire or it could be, um, circular loops of metal, some kind of conductor, where you have those free electrons and the metallic bonds inside. And simply by changing the magnetic flux can cause um, this induced voltage to kind of turn on, to create electricity, create currents in the conductor. It's really an interesting uh, way of doing it. And there's two, two main ways uh, you can change the flux. You can either Keep the magnetic field constant and change the area because flux is magnetic field times area, or you can keep the area constant and change the magnetic field, or you can have a combination of the two. But what I want to do right now is, is just to show a few quick examples of how you can create electricity where the magnetism stays constant and you somehow change the area. Okay, so some motion has to be involved with this. Something has to be changing. So one way I can do it is I, I've got a, a solenoid here and I, I have it hooked up to a voltmeter. And if I can get this to read anything other than zero, that means I'm turning on electricity inside this coil of wire. Okay. So I've got a permanent magnet here and I'm just gonna hold it close to the opening of the tube. Now notice if nothing's moving, there's no voltage, there's no electricity. If I just kind of rock this thing and change the area, okay, that cross-sectional area, that circular area that the magnetic field from the magnet is going through, that's a change in flux. I'm actually creating some electricity. I'm not doing anything with the magnet. It's a constant magnetic field right here. I'm changing the area that it's going through. I stop moving it, it shuts down. There's no change in flux right now. There's flux, there's magnetic field going into the tube, but if that area is not changing, like I'm doing now, I can't create any electricity. Check this out. I'm gonna connect uh, the voltmeter to just a loop of wire, okay? Now notice to settle down there, there's it's re recording zero voltage right now. I'm just going to use the Earth's magnetic field to create electricity. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Just by, by rocking it back and forth, rotating it a little bit, I'm changing the area that the Earth's magnetic field is going through. It's kind of cutting through like this right now. That's constant. I'm, I'm not doing anything to the Earth. <laughs> but I'm changing the area, right? Only a little bit of area it's going through now, a little flux. I'm increasing the flux and now decreasing the flux. Notice too, the sign of the voltage. It's negative if I do one thing, if, and then if I increase the, the area, it goes positive. I'm creating an alternating current inside this loop of wire. So the sign of the voltage tells me the current is flip-flopping if I, if I do this with the uh, little loop of wire. It's crazy, but it's that easy to do. And last but not least, I can take this and I can move it in and out if I want to create a lot of voltage. So I get to turn this up now. I can use a real strong magnet, a permanent magnet there, and just move this in and out. Okay, watch the sign in the voltage again. If I move it in, that's an increase in flux and it was positive. When I pull it out, it goes negative because that's a decrease in flux. I'm changing the area that that magnetic field is cutting through in this conductor, in this, this wire here. Positive, negative, positive, negative, alternating current. 
That is the essence of a generator. You know, 90 something percent of the world's power comes from big versions of this, where you spin a little loop of wire in a magnet. Okay, so you're changing the area and that, that's just gonna rotate. Think of like a windmill. When, when the blades are spinning, it's spinning the loop of wire inside a magnet, inside the box that you see up there. That creates an alternating voltage, an alternating current. That's what we get in our outlets. That's AC. <laughs> okay, generators inside power plants work this way. Faraday's law, constant magnetic field, a changing area due to motion of your conductor. In principle, it's that easy to do. So until next time, we'll see you later.